You mentioned that you have a baby boy that gets an extremely dry nose at night. You feel like that's what's waking him up and causing him to cry. And um, it could just be the fact that the humidity is very low in, in your house or in your area. And by putting a cool mist vaporizer in his room, it will moisten the air and it could help the problem. If you feel like he's congested because he's got secretions in his nose, um, you can put two to three drops of saline in there, each nostril. Wait for 30 to 60 seconds, and that's when all the magic happens. It loosens everything, and then suck everything out with a bulb syringe. But don't do this more than two to three times a day because that can actually irritate the lining of your baby's nose and cause more problems. But if you just do it on occasion, then that's okay, and it can actually help him breathe a lot better and feel better. Another thing to consider is that it's just normal for babies to wake up during the night and um, they need to learn how to self-soothe. But sleep training or teaching a baby how to fall back to sleep on their own shouldn't be done until the baby is old enough and your pediatrician has given you the green light. In the early months of life, a baby needs to eat frequently and um, a mother should respond to the baby's needs and attend to them when they wake up at night. But as they get older and the pediatrician says that your baby doesn't need extra nighttime feedings, then you can teach your baby to self-soothe by either crying it out or by doing a more graduated approach where you just incrementally check on your baby, reassure you, them that you're there, but then turn around, around and walk right back out of the room. So your baby's nighttime wakings might just be normal. It, might not have anything to do with the fact that his nose is dry, but it is worth trying a cool mist vaporizer and seeing if that makes a difference. Um, if you have more concerns about it or um, you notice other concerning signs, talk with your pediatrician and they'll be able to give you the best advice based on their ability to actually check out your baby, ask you more questions, and then decide if anything needs to be done about it. If you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.